What's up, you guys? It's the Eagle here, coming at you guys with a speed ride building this deck profile. I really like this deck, it's really consistent, so let's get straight into this deck profile, guys. Uh, we're starting Triple Terra Top, one Talking Tom Borg. Um, I haven't uh, noticed that I wanted a second Talking Tom Borg, so if you guys have and you guys notice any problems, let me know uh, in the comment section below. And then uh, I got Triple Scarm, Triple Farfa, man. Farfa got so good with Beatrice. Farfa is really good. I really like Farfa. And then um, Triple Sir, one Graph. Best cards, best cards, best monsters in the deck for a BA monster. And then uh, for the one ofs, other than the graph, <laughs> we got uh, one Rubik, one Barbar, -Bar, one Cagno, one Calcab, one Alec, and one Livic. I still like Livic because, you know, it's kind of like Tour Guide and Finisher on a Warrior. It helps you get a monster on board when you have, um, you know, Beatrice on board. So they're really good. And then for the spells, I run one Regeki. I like Regeki. Uh, I like to go first with this build. Then, you know, I, I built it obviously to go first and just set your traps and just, like, you know, make Beatrice and tell your opponent no. You know, and then, um, so I don't want to play Dark Hole, but I feel like you can just side the Dark Hole if you're going second. And, uh, you know, main Ricky is still pretty good. And then one Foolish Staple, uh, one Good and Evil. You don't have to run it. I like it, though, because it kind of helps set up for um, future plays, and then you can search other stuff. So it's a good card. And then uh, Triple Twin Twister to round off the spells. I like Triple Twin Twister. I think it's going to be a back row heavy format, you guys. So I think that uh, Twin Twister is going to, like, save lives. Like, it's really that good, this format. Or it's going to be as soon as the format starts. And then uh, to start off with the traps, I run one Traveler. I like Traveler still, and um, I didn't. I wanted to play something like Soul Charge, and I feel like it's the closest thing, but that happened to pay life because I run a lot of cards where I pay life, and I just don't want to use Soul Charge. So uh, Traveler, and it's searchable, so yeah, it's pretty good. And then for me, I'm playing Fiend Grieving. Uh, I think it's going to be a good for, uh, card this format, guys. It's going to be good versus like uh, PKs and uh, other BA decks, and it's also going to be good against um, Cosmos if they try to like call the Haunted Dark Destroyer or something. So, uh, Fiend Grieving is a really good card. I think you guys should uh, test it out and let me know. And then uh, Double Strike One Morning. Uh, I didn't want to play too much Strike because I didn't want to pay too much life. And I'm playing, uh, as you can see, Triple Chaos Chapel. So I think uh, Chaos Chapel is going to be a good card this format. Because uh, I think Monarchs are going to be uh, heavily uh, relevant. And so are Cosmos and BA. And uh, Chaos Chapel is pretty good against Cosmos. You can stop a normal summon of like a um, pilot or something. So it's really good, but it's also very good against BA and PK variants because they'll make a Dante and you just banish it. And like against like a, a mirror match, like a BA deck, they, they won't be able to make Beatrice. So that's really, really good. I mean, maybe they will, but they're going to have to invest a lot more resources and they're not going to get the Dante and they're not going to be able to loop that way. So they're going to have to make another Dante and you basically just lost one. So I think it's going to be a good card this format. Let me know what you guys think, though. Uh, and then to run off the traps, I ruined one bottomless trap hole because uh, I didn't know what the last trap was, but I did want to have another trap. And uh, I feel like Bottomless isn't that bad. So let me know what you guys think if there's like a good replacement for Bottomless uh, that I just haven't thought of for some reason right now. And then uh, on to the extra deck. I got Triple Dante, two Beatrice, two Pilgrim, and one uh, Virgil. Uh, I, like, I like all that ratio. I think it's pretty good. I don't think you need three Beatrice because like you just keep, like the deck is so good. It's so fast. Like You do so much disruption. Like You can out-resource your opponent and then uh, just kind of beat them like that. So I think two Beatrice is fine. But, um, you know, it might change throughout the course of the format. We'll see. We'll see, guys. And then um, one Break Sword, because uh, it can Scrap Dragon. It's a really good card. Uh, one Acid Gone, because OTK. One Nightmare Shark, because I still like Barbar -Bar Nightmare Shark. You know, you just put them at 29 or less, and they're pretty much game. It's over. And then uh, I'm still playing I'm still playing this um, Giga Brilliant. So I'm, yeah, I might cut that out for another Beatrice. Um, but for right now, I, I, I'm just using the two Beatrice, so... Uh, we'll see. It might. It'll most likely come out though for another Beatrice, guys. I'll let you guys know that now. And then, um, but I still kind of like the, the Geek of Brilliant. And then we got uh, Downer, just in case we do run out of the Beatrice, which I think I will take it. Uh, maybe either the Downer or the um, Geek of Brilliant out. Let me uh, know what you guys think. And then uh, double F zero because you know Cosmos are probably going to be a big deck this format. So let me know in the comment section, section below what you guys think of this deck, and uh, if you guys have any uh, improvements or any uh, you know good constructive criticism. And if uh, you guys like the video, you know, give me a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.